the Abuja Division of the Appeal Court has affirmed the powers of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to deregister political parties. Delivering the lead judgment of a panel of the court, Justice Mohammed Idris held that INEC did not err in law in the deregistration of the National Unity Party, which filed the appeal. The court upheld the judgment of Justice Taiwo Taiwo of the Federal High Court in Abuja, which had earlier in May cancelled the deregistration of NUP and 73 other political parties for being in breach of Section 255A of the Nigerian Constitution as amended. The said constitutional provision spells out the minimum election victory a party must record or percentage of votes it must poll to sustain its status as a registered political party. We now have joining us Bolande Ulugbani, who is a legal practitioner. Good to have you, Barista. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, now let's go straight into the matter. Again, the appeal court has upheld our next decision to deregister parties. Should this still be pursued to the Supreme Court? I don't think it should be pursued to the Supreme Court. The Constitution is the basis of that decision. And there's no law in Nigeria that is superior to the Constitution. The Constitution in Section 225 a of of its amendment that is the fourth amendment of uh, number nine of 2017 to the constitution says that INEC now has the power to deregister parties if it fails to fit to fulfill the requirements for registration for instance if the party has no identifiable offices in Abuja and in the state of the Federation. The other requirements are that the party itself must win 25% of the vote cast in a state, just a state, in the presidential election. The other one is that it must also alternatively win 25% of the vote cast in a local government election for the gubernatorial election. It must also win at least 25% of vote cast in a ward in the chairmanship election. It must also have at least one national assembly or state of house of assembly seat won by it. So these are the basic uh, criteria right. of validity or viability or efficacy of a political party to, to, to claim to want to exist. Mm -hmm. but a political party that does not win any election by virtue of the INEC powers is not fit to exist. Right. But some political parties, Barista, uh, have claimed that it is too early to deregister de them because they have not participated in all the election cycles. So the federal, state, and local government, hence, should not be deregistered. What, what do you think about that? Unfortunately, the provision in the Constitution, as amended, does not state that you must fulfill all of the criteria. That is all of the election cycle. It just says that you must meet at least one of the criteria. And if you do not meet it, the INEC has the power to be registered the party. So it's not about election cycle. It's about meeting the basic uh, criteria, either at the presidential, gubernatorial, chairmanship election, or even a seat in the House of Assembly or the National Assembly. And they are even asking for 25% of other elections, aside from the House of Assembly and the National Assembly elections. Just win 25% in a ward, in a local government, in a state, or in the Federation, and you continue to be viable. All right, but another worry, Barrister, is that, you know, um, the question is, why register many parties when we know that this provision exists? The provision did not exist, as I am stating it now, until 2017. Mm -hmm. You will recall that earlier during the Obasanjo era, parties were deregistered. 
And because someone like Chief Gani Faremi in his lifetime challenged that the registration and won the case right up to the Supreme Court, there was now a need by the sponsors of the bill for the amendment of the Constitution to make this criteria explicitly, sta explicitly stated. So that was done in 2017, and that has become the law because it was a constitutional amendment mm. since 2017. Right. But don't you think this decision is popular among the people because these parties, you know, are hardly uh, voted for? You see, the issue of party registration is done by politicians for different reasons. Mm. Some may be using it to attract sponsorship from different locations. Some may be doing it because INEC itself gives a certain fund to each political party during the existence of that party. So that viability or actual performance of the political party may not be the only criteria for establishing it. So that if they are not regulated, or there's no criteria, or any qualification put on their existence, the registration of that political party itself may be abused or misused. But I think that if parties are on paper, that is, they have all of the requirements fulfilled on paper legally, they should explore margins. They should explore some form of alliances so that they can form a stronger block instead of existing on paper and not being popular or winning any seat or even 25% at federal, state, and local government level. All right. Barrister Olugbane, thank you so very much for your thoughts uh, and contributions on news on the R&D. Keep safe out there. Thank you.